Tammy, what weird thing? Oh, that weird thing. Documented for at least a couple of centuries, a strange and somewhat rare phenomenon has been observed near Aurora, the northern and southern lights. A lavender ribbon, just outside of the auroral oval, that partially circles the globe near both poles. But there wasn't really a name for what it was for a long time, or a reason for its cause. This is Michael, science out there, and I have a fun story to tell you. Back in the early 2000s, a couple of research papers discussing proton data from satellites suggested that, sometimes, there was a disconnection event where protons were observed showing up detached from the rest of the auroral oval. But proton events like this weren't actually visible to observers on the ground. First, they typically happened on the daytime side of the planet, and second, they don't actually match up with what is observed on the ground anyway. There's a correlation but not a causation between solar proton radiation hitting the atmosphere and where aurora are observed. It seems someone in 2007 first incorrectly matched up this proton detachment idea coined a few years earlier with the lavender stripes of light that exist out ahead and south of the northern auroral oval on some nights, calling this a proton arc. Later, in 2016, this use of proton arc got repeated by a Facebook users group, Alberta Aurora Chasers. Professor of Physics Eric Donovan from the University of Calgary picked up on this, later shot down the name Proton Arc as proton interaction with the upper atmosphere isn't actually visible and didn't match up with what time-stamped Aurora photographs were showing anyway. So Alberta-based Aurora photographer Chris Ratzlaff suggested calling it Steve an homage to the event that kicks off the plot of the animated movie Over the Hedge. The idea being that not knowing what something truly is and any existing vocabulary fails to describe something so foreign and unknown to the observer, a non-threatening and common first name like Steve seemed like a good match. But that kicks off the plot to what the heck this lavender hedge over the sky actually is. Researchers dug in and came up with a possible solution. Something called Subaurora Ion Drift was accompanying the phenomenon now temporarily known as Steve. What it really means is that superheated electrons at the hedges, <clears throat> edges of the auroral oval are exciting the atoms at the edges of Earth's thermosphere, over 400 kilometers up, and causing atoms at the edge of space to glow a gentle shade of purple. In the meantime, the speed at which Steve was moving suggested that not only was this not aurora at all, really, but also just a lot faster. Normal aurora, like this, is produced by electrons hitting atomic oxygen and nitrogen to produce the greens and reds that you see up there. Electrons hit the atom, and that atom doesn't want it, so it lets it go, and that extra energy then produces a photon of light that appears green or red. But with Steve, an entirely different thing is happening. It's just heat. Late in 2016, at the American Geophysical Union, Robert Lysak suggested using the backronym Steve for the phenomenon that would stand for a strong thermal emission velocity enhancement, describing both the speed and temperature involved in creating Steve. So now we just capitalize Steve, and we finally have a literal name for this lavender stripe of not aurora, but accompanying aurora that used to be a proton arc, but it's not a proton arc. As if the suburban hedgerow jokes at the cutting hedge of space weather science weren't already silly enough, we call the green auroras that sometimes accompany Steve a picket fence. If you ask me, that's science that's pretty out there. Thanks for watching. I'll have more about Steve in an upcoming video. Or check out my past videos about space weather and subscribe to see more content about earth science and astronomy.